Hey everyone, I'm here doing another request video. I love these because sometimes I just have a mind block on what to film and what better to film than what you want to see. So here I am doing, I think this might be my third what's in my purse video, but seasons change, purses change. So I love filming these and I love watching these. I, I guess it's the voyeur in me. I love watching house hunters. I like to see what's inside people's houses. I love home tours in person as well as on YouTube so I guess this is sort of an extension of that kind of thing so if you enjoy watching what's in your purse videos then you have come to the right place so um, this is my purse it's the I'm gonna lean back it's monstrous it's the Louis Vuitton Tivoli the big one I don't know what the I'm not big on the Louis Vuitton lingo but um, sorry I have lip gloss sticking does that happen to you guys where it sticks to the corner of your mouth and you feel like anyway okay so um i got this in july my husband bought it for me sort of as a youtube anniversary present and well it was that it fell into a lot of things it was also right after anniversary and um there's boz he's got a bone anyway so um very excited so this is what it looks like and um, you've seen it before in other videos and it could be a diaper bag I mean it's humongous compared to my head which is fairly large so let's just start digging the um, inside of the bag has two pockets which I like this bigger one and then a couple more in there so I will just start mining out what I have here so on the one large side I keep my cell phone so this is the iPhone 4S, um, and this is my Snazzy case, and I got this on casemate.com. It's been asked, and here's my screensaver. That's me and my hubby. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. Okay, as we gaze adoringly into our eyes, into each other's eyes, so, so posed. Okay, um, what else is in there? Ah! This is, these are my reward cards. NUR from Nurber XO, um, long time ago, recommended getting, um, like going to an office supply store and getting a bunch of these little key ring thingies. I think a pack's like a dollar, it's nothing. And then you just take a hole punch and you punch through your reward cards and um, make sure you don't punch through the barcode part, obviously. And so I have like my Sally Beauty Supply, my CVS card, gets a lot of wear, um, PetSmart, Hallmark, Panera. I gotta take this off. This is American Eagle Rewards. I never use this. My son, I think we shop there once a year, but there it is. Um, GameStop, if you have boys, you have this card. Ulta, the uh, Regal Crown Club, which is the local movie theater here. Love that. Kind of forgot I had this. Saks Off Fifth, it's for their outlet store, which I never go to. And, um, but when I do, I guess it's good to have. And the Charm Club from Charming Charlie's. I have more I need to add to this, but. This is, um, my husband got me a pair of boots from Coach, the riding boots. And this was what the receipt came in, and I thought it was kind of cute. And I'm keeping it to put my own receipts in. We'll see how well that holds up. And, oh, I've been looking for this. Uh, NYX lip liner in natural. Even sharpened. How about that? I was looking for that. And I just picked this up not too long ago from Ulta. It's a little nail file. It's a file catty instead of catty. Catty. See? Ah, I forgot Mimi outside. Oops. Better go get her. And it's just a little nail file. I like these better. Everyone says to get the crystal ones, but they make my teeth hurt. It's like nails on a chalkboard sensation for me. Hang on one minute. Let me let her in. It's 30 degrees outside. It's a little chilly. Hold on. Okay, so everybody's back. Uh, that's that pocket, all empty. Now, second pocket. I usually, there is a key ring to clip your keys to. Never use it. Intended to use it, never use it. So I stick my keys in the other pocket. Um, my key holder, actually I got this at Walmart in the jewelry section. They have, like it came in a pack of three different sizes. One of those, um, what do you call these things? Like a... It's a clip, but there's a special name for it. But anyway, it's a clamp. Clip, clamp. I like the pink. Uh, it's kind of a camo. No, actually, no, they're little hearts. And I have my Coach little Westie on there. 
I find it very amusing because when we go out as a family on the weekends or the evenings, whatever, my husband drives the family car, and so he's got to walk around with this key ring. And um, I don't know why he won't just take the spare key and put it on his own key ring, but whatever. And then just so there's the house, the car key. And hi. Uh, keys to our gates. We have the, our back gates are padlocked. Not padlocked, they're deadbolts on my backyard gates. House key. Post office box key, very important, and a uh, mailbox key. So those are my keys. Uh, this is generally where I keep whatever makeup I'm planning. Okay, sorry about that. I have no idea where I left off because my battery died. Um, I've tried to film a ton of videos all at once, and I guess that's what happens. Okay, so moving on to what's in my makeup side of the bag. Um, today I'm wearing this P2 Color Star Lip Cream in Brigitte Bardot, which you can only get in Germany. So sorry, but there it is. Uh, maybe eBay, I don't know. So that's what's in my purse. I always stick what I'm wearing in there, but the problem is I never take the rest of it out. So here we go. This is the Victoria's Secret lip gloss in Innocent, which I think was supposed to be a dupe for Turkish Delight, but I may have grabbed the wrong one. Regardless, I really like it. It's just a really pale, kind of milky pink. Actually, it's not milky, a little milky. I like it. I like it layered over um, lip liner. It's beautiful. Uh, Essence lipstick in Creamy Nude. All time. One of my all time faves. Love it. I need to get more of their. This is the only Essence lipstick I've ever tried and I love it. So I should probably try some more considering they're about two bucks. Um, Inglot lip pencil in. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it's in. It's in, um, has no name. Oh, numbers over here. 25. Um, thanks, Gasha from, who lives in Norway, but is really from Poland, who sent this to me along with some other Inglot goodies that I will talk about later. Um, thank you, thank you. And it looks like this. Actually, that lip gloss looks really good layered over it. I love these lip pencil concepts. It's a pencil and a, it's a lip crayon. It's a pencil and a lipstick in one. Very user friendly. Another lip liner. This is the Annabelle lip liner in Demure. Highly recommended by Teresa, Juicy Tuesday. I've mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. Um, probably the first YouTube purchase that was or purchase that was influenced directly by a YouTube person, because I asked Teresa on her channel what she recommended when I go to when I went to Canada what to buy, and this is what she said. So I bought it, and there it is, right there. And my new favorite lip treatment is the Blistex Complete Moisture SPF 25. Many say that it is a dupe for the fresh sugar treatment. Regardless, it smells like lemon pound cake. It works. I don't care what it's a dupe for. I like it. Okay, that's that. Then I have a little pen section. I have this pen. I love these pens. These are the uh, Pentel RSVP pens. I get them the four packs in uh, the different colors. This is black, which I don't really like. Um, I like colored ink. Uh, a pencil, automatic pencil, and um, another pen that I swiped from the Texas Med Clinic when I went with my friend to take her there after her car accident. We got a pen. Woohoo! Okay, and she's fine. She's fine. Okay. A, now the main pocket. My sunglass case when I was in North Carolina in August, we went to the outlet malls um, while we were there. And I decided to buy a big girl pair of sunglasses, meaning not from Walmart. And I got the Ralph Lauren um, aviators, I guess you call them. They have this blonde. That's what they look like. They're dirty. I have the little cleaning thing here. I should probably do that. Anyway, I decided that if I was going to spend as much as I spent on a pair of sunglasses, then I was going to take care of them, damn it. So I've been trying very hard to always put them back in their case and not stick them on top of my head. And I've so far been pretty good, actually. So they are in there. And a piece of paper. Ah, hmm, the joys of parenting a teenager. Uh, this is, I can't show you this because it's got all this personal information on there, but um, registering for uh, registering for high school. Which courses to take. It's not what courses to take because, you know, you have your basic major classes. It's do we take pre-we. This is sort of a group effort, I've been told. Do we take pre-AP? Do we take 
GT? Do we take regular? If you take all regular, then you're never going to go to college because these grades are all weighted, blah, blah, blah. The pressure they put on you is ridiculous. So anyway, just because you guys are keeping track. No, I'm kidding. You do want to know he's taking GT English, which is the gifted and talented program, which he's always been in, but only for English, regular geometry, regular biology, pre-AP world geography, pre-AP Spanish two, and football. Yes, football is actually a class in Texas. Oh, and healthy lifestyles, because he has to. <sighs> okay, the nightmare that is registering for high school. What else is in here? Um, my calendar, yes, I have an iPhone, and I do keep my, my calendar on there, but I still believe in writing stuff down. And today I have um, the book, book club at 11. Ooh, better get cracking. And, um, and an appointment at two, so that's my day. And, um, ah, more crap at the bottom of my purse. This is the sack that I keep my personal toiletry type items and makeup. So um, this I got from the limited when I was in high school. It's a long time ago. So my fold up brush that I never ever ever use, but it's there in case I want it. The one or two times a year I use it as when I go to my youngest son's football games. There's a little girl who's a sibling, a younger sister of one of the boys on his team and she loves to play with my hair. And there's nothing better than having a little girl brush your hair and rub your head. It's wonderful. So this is when I dig it out because her mom has very short hair so she likes that feminine hygiene products always good to have one on hand probably should replace this one it's been in there for years um clean hands antimicrobial toilette I have no idea where this came from the ooh, needs to be refilled the little travel size of Advil that I just keep refilling because it expired technically um, in March of 09 so I've had the bottle a long time a whoop, caps off on the sucker maybe it's time maybe this needs to be retired as well a tide pen which I never use never use so I should just get rid of that um, oh a note from one of my subscribers that um, I, it's not a swap yet because I haven't sent her anything but um, I'm going to Kristen and um, from her I carry I do I, I keep anything that gets sent to me in written form I keep forever uh, my Estee Lauder pressed powder in sand 2w1 sand which I occasionally use but not all that often I really find that when I powder with that Cody loose air spun unless it's a thousand degrees outside I never need to repowder um, this is the Nivea cream tin I think it was a dollar it's like one of those impulse buy things that you get in line at Ulta and it's a moisturizer. I don't know. It's okay. Whatever. Hand sanitizer from Bath Body Works. This is fresh picked strawberries. The um, school secretary at the middle school gave me a bunch of these for the holidays last year. So that was from there. Ah, <laughs> dental floss threader. Um, my son, my oldest son now has braces. So when we go out to eat, sometimes things lodge in the braces. So carry that with me along with dental floss the band-aid friction block that you rub you ideally should rub this it looks like deodorant but you rub it on the parts of your foot that are gonna rub on um, the shoe you know where you would get a blister ideally do this pre blister once you get the blister it doesn't really help um, a new pair of scissors because my other ones that were really cool were confiscated by the mean security guard at the courthouse when we went to renew our passports. Like what? And my bathroom crew is here, so we will resume this later. Okay, gotta hurry. Okay, so that and hair bands there. And I love equal sweetener, love it or the generic and I know there's chemicals it's all gonna kill me I'm gonna die okay yes you know what I'm gonna die inevitably so it's a couple months sooner so um, I have this because we like to go to Whole Foods for breakfast on Sundays sometimes and they have all that natural crap that actually does not sweeten a damn thing you might as well drink your coffee black I mean really what is the point so I have these in there and I have a little tiny clippy which I, I might use later today for my hair. I think these are cute. I think they hold, I believe that they hold my hair better than the traditional clamps. 
came in a little set and spin pins. You never know when you want to get your hair out of your face, so these are great. Okay, I'm in a hurry. The guys are mixing grout outside, so I have, they said I have 10 minutes before they come in and embarrass me. They won't embarrass me. I will feel embarrassed with construction workers watching me do this. Okay, um, visine for contacts, especially in the winter, dry eyes, traveling, good to have. Because even if you're not tired, if you have dry eyes, you feel tired, and I hate that. Another lipstick that went uh, went rogue, found that on the bottom. This is P2, Unter den Linden. I think that means under the linden tree. Regardless of what it means, it's a beautiful pink, very bright. Wear it all the time in the summer. Might wear it now. I wear it, in, you know what? I like wearing brighter lipsticks, honestly, in the winter because I feel like everything's so dreary and drab and I'm always in blacks and grays and it's nice to just pop some color in there, freshen things up. Um, tissue. Checkbook, rarely used, but I think the cover is from um, like an old Nine West uh, wallet. Checks are not all that exciting. I just get whatever the free ones are from Bank of America. Love Bank of America. Mints. Love these Altoids. This is the wintergreen version. In fact, I'm going to have one right now. Much less harsh than the original, but yet minty fresh. And then another case of Altoids, but it's not. These are the cinnamon ones, but there's it's my headphones for my iPhone. I just found, I got the Container Store catalog in the mail yesterday, actually, and they sell them to wrap around like $3. So next time I'm at the Container Store, I'll be getting those. Oh, another lip gloss. This one is by NYX Beige, another YouTube-inspired purchase. This one is from Emily Noel 83 Do you see a trend here? This is the worst named lip gloss. Does that look like beige to you? NYX, really? You need to rename that. Okay. Um, oh, this goes in the other thing. This is the Boots number seven. Quick cover concealer stick. It's a dry stick and it works great. It dries to a powder finish. Mine is in whatever the lightest version and a subscriber sent this to me like a year ago. I think it was Rita. If it's not Rita, I apologize. Mine's in Fair, and it's wonderful. The best on-the-go concealer stick. Um, a very smushed Nature Valley Oats and Honey. Great snack. Oh my god, the dogs are like literally attacking the windows. My Nine West wallet, which has lots of stuff in there that you can't see. Costco card, driver's license. How cool is that? Personalized library card from my personal library branch of the San Antonio Library. Woohoo! Okay. Because I'm special. Tip card, because I'm mathematically impaired. Um, yeah, insurance. Oh, high roll. I'm a high roller. How do you roll? Make your own sushi. Love this place because I hate sushi, so you can get chicken instead of nasty fish. And that's it and cash and fun things like that so that is pretty much that's it all empty there's a little couple of extra goodies on there that I need to get out oh a clear hairband love these two so that's my what's in your purse updated for winter 2011 please post a video response I love watching these things it, it I don't know what's wrong with me but I do I'm going to clean this mess up let my worker guys in so they can finish up the bathroom so that I can actually take a shower in there and um, not that I'm not showering, I'm just having to go use the kids' bathroom, which don't like sharing a shower with teenage boys. Hope you're having a good one, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.